Welcome back to World of Warships Legends with Red Sorax, and today I've got a replay in the Leon where the person that sent it in, Bantha Fodder, had a really bad day at work and then went home and this was his first game in the Leon. And to show you what kind of bad day he had, in the email he sent me a picture of the clothes he was wearing that day. So let's take a quick look at that. In his email to me, he said he's an oil well driller and he worked an 18 hour day and that's what his clothes looked like when he got off the rig. So he went home and he jumped on World of Warships and this is the first game he played that night and he wanted to send it in. So if you'd like to send in games, you can look in the description below on how to do this. And if you send them in, I'll make you famous. So let's go ahead and take a look at his commander setup and jump into the battle. Today we're using Robert Trujard. He has level 14 commander with two legendaries, base trait of four. First skill he's using is Flammable Cannoneer. The second skill he's using is Gyrating Drill Bits. His third skill is Megalomania. His fourth skill is Reaching Out XXL. And in his legendary spot, he's using Will to Rebuild. His first inspiration is a almost maxed out Charles Madden. He only needs one more legendary skill to max him out. And his final inspiration is level 14, Andrew Cunningham. Now for his modules, Aiming Systems Mod 1, Damage Control Systems Mod 2, and Target Acquisition Systems. So let's take it into battle now. And today we have Crash Zone Domination. I like the Leon. Um, it can really be frustrating. But today, we're going to see what happens when everything works right for you for the most part in the Leon. So he spawned at the B Camp and in a battleship we're not going to push forward i wouldn't push forward he doesn't push forward it's the smart thing to do so let's get this show on the road and we're going to take a look around here and he's not working in a division he is solo so if you look at the ship you've got four turrets it's anybody that plays this game should know four turrets and four guns if you have two or three of these in a division and you can put out 16 shells per salvo per ship onto one target, that can be just absolutely devastating, just, just demoralizing, whether you can take them out in a single deletion or not. And as I suspected, he's not going to go into B. You don't want to push a battleship into open water. So he's going to start cruising towards the sea cap and see what we can see here. And again, like I said, he, he had a very frustrating day according to what he had written down and told me in the email. And an 18 hour day, I, I can imagine that I have very long days myself. But coming home and looking the way he looked and then getting on here frustrated as all get out. He wanted to get some get backs, and he definitely is about to get some get backs. So, we take a look at the mini map finally, and we are at a tier 6, tier 5 battle, so he's top of the tier. And it's not too bad on either team for tier 6s. And we have our first customer in sight, and we're going to line him up, get our guns all trained on him. And it's an American heavy cruiser with a flat broadside. Shots are out, in the air. Gotcha, bitch! Yeah! <laughs> Holy hell! He just got effed in the A. <laughs> I wonder if that poor Pensacola player even wondered what the hell just happened. It's gotta suck doing that, <laughs> having that done to you. He's got a flat broadside in New York. Let's take shots at him. And let's see what happens here. 
Uh, nice salvo. Six penetrating hits, one over Ben. So I mean that was a that was a decent salvo with nothing massive going on. Excellent guns today. Just he's already with only two salvos at forty five thousand damage. So he was starting to feel good right about now. <laughs> Feeling better. He's been playing the game. He's already done some massive damage with just two salvos. And he gets one pin there. He didn't give quite enough lead. Takes another look at the mini map. He does well at looking at the mini map. I'm assuming he's looking at the track and which way everybody's going. Now we have a flat broadside Dallas over there. Now I'm not thinking this is going to be too good either. So he takes and puts shots out at the Dallas. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> in my contract people read my contract <laughs> well it could have been a hell of a lot worse for that Dallas but he really got some there and are we gonna do are, is the Helena gonna show us all that flat broadside if you're gonna keep showing skirt like that he's gonna keep trying to slip it in shots are out gotcha bitch you got knocked the fuck out man damn it damn it damn it Oh my god, two dev strikes. Full deletion dev strike. I I just I can see why he wanted to send this in. <laughs> and that's just the beginning of the game, folks. <laughs> so let's see if we can get this Dallas. He's still showing awful lot of slip. And there it is. Spank their ass. You spanked that ass, Les team is dominating on kills of course he's got three of the four they only owned one cap the other team owns the other cap there goes some torpedoes I mean you see a smoke screen obviously it's gonna be an angry torpedo throwing the son of a gun over there now he's shooting guns out looked at his map I'm assuming to see what it was what kind of destroyer it was that's usually what I do when I fling it up see what what I'm facing so I can know what my, my range is on it. Here comes some more torpedoes out of the smoke screen. And I'm assuming the cruiser spotted the torpedoes. Now he gets set on fire here and I like what he does. He's smart enough not to put out one single fire. He's not gonna burn his damage control for one fire. He'll heal most of this back and he could probably heal it all back over, over time. And there we go, there's the moss. Lining up his guns for the Moss. Now he does have AP loaded, and it will overpin, but there's no reason not to take the shot and try. He missed with that salvo. Shots out with a second salvo, and he gets two overpins. That's worth it. It's worth it. You know, a little more damage. He gets some damage to every ship in the game. And oh, now he's got two fires, and he puts it out and he starts to heal. Smart play right there. Smart play. Well played. That is proper battleship tactics when you're using your damage control. So, let's see if he, what he does here with this New York. He's still cruising. He's still trying to take the base. He's moving through the base. And he's holding the base. And he has a cruiser in the base as well. And we're going to have a battleship here in seven seconds. Take a base. And whoop, somebody got hit and reset. Now it's up to eight seconds again. Six, five, four, three, two. And now he's taking the base with a cruiser. So now we have a capture assist in a battleship in open water. And he's taking shots out. Nice flat broadside to the New York. Nope, little angle, but he gets the high caliber there. And I feel he kind of got cheated there. But, you know, it happens. No big deal. He'll get. He'll get his back here shortly, no biggies. So he's not gonna play stupid and try and push a moss in a battleship. So he's just gonna turn away, start heading towards B, start heading to where the two battleships are left. There's a cruiser chasing him. He's spotted right now from the destroyer. And there's absolutely no reason to attempt to push on a destroyer that's how destroyer captains die so he's moving away 
and we're going to push in through the B cap. We're going to head towards the A cap. We're going to try and take uh, out some battleships. He's at 107,000 damage. He's sitting on two dev strikes. <laughs> First blood in the high caliber. And he has six. <laughs> Repeat six citadels. <laughs> well, where's that citadel mission when you need it, right? <laughs> and there's the moss. And the moss is gone, but the moss is being chased by a cruiser. I can't tell what it is right now. I didn't pay attention when he had his head turned around. And I believe he's making the absolute right choice here. And the booty just got the moss, so it was a booty chasing him down. Definitely dangerous booty's uh, radar. Not the most dangerous radar ship. I mean, it doesn't have, it's got the least range, but still, when you're in a destroyer and you're trying to hide your smoke or anything like that, and he pops the radar, you're just dead. So, he's lining up on this bay urn. He's got him at range, and he takes the pot shots out. He's giving up some broadside here to do it, but the bay urn's got bigger problems than him right now, and wow, surprisingly, the shots were good. He gets four good shots in there. Four good penetrating shots for 13,000 damage. So, mad skills right there. I'm telling you, the accuracy on this was just spot on this day. You cannot ask for a better day in the Leon for the accuracy. He definitely did not have a boat full of assholes. How many assholes we got on this ship anyhow? Go! surrounded by assholes. So needless to say, he's not having a day like that. <laughs> so he took a shot at the Bay Urn right through that gap and actually hit the Bay Urn through the gap. I'm impressed with that shot. So I don't know what else to say for his gunnery today. <laughs> and now he's moving along. He's going to give some more broadside. He's actually keeping the track of the Bay Urn. As long as you don't move your track, if you hit and don't move your track and they don't move, your track's gonna be straight on. Now the Bay Urn was hit and he's down a little. What'd you do? I'll tell you what he did. He stole the kill, but he got it back for earlier because earlier he should have gotten that kill. Now there's only one ship left and you know what that means. Mike, 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 Mike. Everybody wants it. You can see all those guns going to town trying to get that. Look at those rounds in the air. Release the Kraken. And well played by him. He really des deserved that after a rough day, he said. So 136,000 damage, Kraken Unleashed, Confederate, High Caliber, First Blood, and two Devastating Strikes. He made a base of 3,121 base XP. So with five kills and all the medals, he was on top of the world. And with no credit flags, he made nearly 300,000 credits. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.